Hey, so here is another quick video about Rome. Um, today I'm talking about aliasing. So aliasing, I think everyone knows. It's basically the, the giving another name to something. Um, so you can do that in Rome in a, in a couple of ways. Um, and I will show you directly what it does. Uh, so the, the, let's start with a some basic use case. Um, usually, uh, why you want, you would want to use that? Um, so let's say I have a paragraph. Uh, I'll paste this here. Um, so this is basically a definition of aliasing that I found um, on Wikipedia. Um, so there's two way to you can alias blocks and you can alias pages. Um, you might want to alias blocks because you'll notice that, for example, if I do that, so I'm clicking Control and then click, uh, and let's say I want this definition, this definition here, um, it's it's long. Uh, I may not want to have this full text um, in here, uh, but I may want to use the um, uh, the linking between the the, the original text uh, and the, the place I want to reference that block. Uh, so it's useful to have the link, but maybe not the full definition. And that's uh, why aliasing may be um, interesting here. Uh, and a, another thing is for pages. Um, so the usual use case for pages is that uh, you'll have text like this one. Um, and in this text, you'll have, for example, the word aliasing. Um, I may want to link that word uh, to to this page aliasing uh, that I'm using here. Um, the problem is that here, um, it's all uh, lowercase, and here my name is capitalized, uh, so I have a problem. Um, so one solution, of course, is to to put a capital A here and then linking things. So okay, then I can use this one and it's linking to the correct page. Um, but you may not want to modify the original text, or maybe sometimes uh, it's a more profound uh, change in the text, and you may not want to do that. So uh, that's that's why aliasing may be useful. So you may you may want to, to keep the text like that, but still uh, link to this page. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Um, so the, I said there's two ways. And the basic difference is how it looks. So the, the first one will look like that. And the second one will just look like uh, a normal, uh, normal link. So I'll show you how it works. Um, let's uh, let's start for blocks. Um, so for blocks, what you want to do, let's say I want to reference this block like what I did up here. I'll do it again. Um, so if I want to alias this thing, I'll put double curly brackets. I'll say alias colon, and then I'll. Uh, right click here, copy block ref, paste it here, and then I can say um, the definition. Okay. And here it is. So the definition is the text I was, uh, the text I entered here. Um, and here is the reference to the, to the block. So just to make sure that it works, I can click it and I'm going back to the, the definition. Um, I'll, I'll open it in the with shift click so that we can keep things uh, clean. Uh, so it, you see, this is linking to to this definition right here. Okay, so that's one way to do it, um, and it's the exact same way for pages. So uh, let's say I want to where well, where was it here? So I have this word and yesing. Um, and I want to link to this page right here. Okay, so what can I, what I can do is um, I just enter that here. 
again, double curly brackets, alias, okay. alias, colon. Um, so I'll use the page notation, so double uh, brackets, uh, and start typing aliasing with capital A this time, because I want to link to this page. And after that, I'll put the original uh, text in here. And again, I'll shift click it, and you see it's it's linking to, to this page. Okay, so that's the first way, and you see it's uh, like red text and um, gray background. If you want to have something more, I, I don't know, let's say subtle, uh, just a link, what you can do is use the um, external link notation, so the, the, the basic Mardon notation that you use for linking uh, external resources. Um, you can use it here as well. So let me take this back to how it was, like that. Okay, and we'll start with this one. So I'll copy the reference of the blog so that I don't have to um, to get it back down there, okay, I did that. So um, if, I, if I want to reference the this definition uh, with just a link, uh, I'll say, I hit Control K, so that's the um, shortcut, the, the keyboard shortcut for creating uh, links like that. And I'll, I'll first enter uh, the text so uh, I'll say the definition of aliasing. And in the parentheses, I will put the reference of the block. And just like that, it's working. So if I, if I hit shift click, and you see that it's, uh, it's opening exactly the same, uh, the same reference here. Um, I'll close this and then we'll do the same for here. So if I want here to make a link to this page, uh, this page I think, what I will do is hit again Control K. Um, I'll copy this text in the brackets and then in the parentheses I will again use the page notation using capital A, and just like that, if I uh, shift click it, you'll see that it opens the the page. Um, so that's how you can do aliasing in Rome. Uh, I hope this is all, uh, helpful. Um, I've got a small feature request, so I'll just talk about it. So maybe you can give me your impression about it. Um, what I would like to do is be able to in this page, just uh, create a, an attribute. So let's say I'll call this attribute alias, and just say I want this page to have an alias of aliasing with small with a small a, um, and that would be super cool. That just doing this. Uh, I could then use the, uh, let me erase this, use the normal um, double bracket notation. And doing that, I would click here and it would open, obviously it's not working for now, but it would open this page. So that's an ID for feature requests um, that I'll probably suggest to the, to the room team. Let me know if you think it's a good idea, if you have other ideas or other use case for aliasing. Uh, I'm interested. Um, and I put here down there some references uh, to the official help database uh, of Rome uh, so that you can read a little bit more about aliasing if you want. Okay, so I hope it's so useful. See you in the next video. Bye.